Hi! This instructional video is about circles and triangles that are inscribed or circumscribe each other. It is part of the Common Core State Standards where they emphasize depth and complexity and rigor. And so this is an extension question that I pose up on my students. Why don't you read it and pause and see if you can figure this out. Go ahead. All right. So here's what we have. I'm going to just sketch it out. A circle with a radius of three units circumscribes. So it goes around another object, which is an equilateral triangle. All right. So let's draw that. Here's an equilateral triangle, three congruent sides, three congruent angles. And it's a circle that circumscribes it. So here's, here's, I'll do my best over here. Here's a circle. And the radius is three units. So here is a center of that circle, which happens to be, if this is an equilateral, it is a concurrency of medians of a triangle. Meaning, if I were to draw a line from the vertex to its opposite side, the midpoint, it's the mid, the whole distance is called the median. And where the three medians intersect, is the point of concurrency. That also happens to be the circle. So I'm going to draw it this way. Here is the radius. And that radius happens to be, it says, three units. Nice. However, this whole thing is inscribed in another equilateral triangle. The whole thing is inscribed or circumscribed by another triangle. So let me draw this this way this time. Here I go. Parallel to this base of that triangle. Let's draw this way. Now you do, you draw the way you want to draw. However, I'm going to try to draw symmetrically so it makes some sort of a sense. There. All right. So now the question is, what is the similarity ratio between the big one and the little one inscribed inside a tri uh, circle right here? And it says that the big one is another equilateral. So the three sides of that outer triangle is also an equilateral, just like the inside. So how do you figure this out? So this is what I do. First of all, I'm going to physically look at the triangle. Here's the big one. And here's the little one. And that little one is outlined by a circle. And if that's the case, what we have is a thing called a Sierpinski's triangle, where we have a triangle within a triangle within a triangle, and it goes on forever. And if that's the case, this equilateral triangle, the sides are congruent, and that side also happens to be congruent to the other sides right there. Now look at that, and if I split that up, let's rotate this around. Here's a small triangle with three congruent sides. And here's a bigger one where it used to be in here. So what is the ratio between this one side compared to this long side? For every one, there's two. So the ratio is one to two. And that is a similarity. Why is it called similar? It's not congruent. One is definitely bigger than the other, but they have a same shape and same angles. And the ratio, the factor between the small one and the big one is a factor of two. It's twice the length of the sides. So that's one way to look at it. And another way to look at it is rather than looking at the size of the equilateral triangle between the small inscribed one and the big one that circumscribes a circle, it's also by looking at the medians. Check this out. On a smaller circle, the one in here, Going to the theorem, concurrency of medians of a triangle, the median over here, from the distance, the segment, the distance of a segment from the center of that circle to the vertex, or the distance from the point of concurrency of the three medians to the vertex of an equilateral triangle is actually two-thirds of the entire distance from the vertex to the midpoint. Two-thirds. So on the small triangle, from the point of concurrency of the medians to the vertex, that is two-thirds of the entire thing, which also happens to be the radius. 
which is three units. So if that's the case, I could say, well, what is two thirds of a full number that will give me a three? And the x will tell me what the total distance of the height is. So if I solve this one, I'm going to multiply both by the reciprocal three over two. So let's put that over here. So the x equals nine over two or 4.5. So if this is three, then the little one over here, 4.5 minus 3, this is going to be 1.5. All right, that's nice. So if that's 3 and this is 1.5, 1.5. Now how about the bigger one? The bigger one is, look at the way it looks. Now if I were to rotate this triangle so the radius goes this way, that radius is now the one-third of the median that goes from the vertex of the bigger triangle to the midpoint. So this is the median now. And that, letter, that radius is actually just one-third of it. So one-third of the x of a bigger triangle is the three, then if I find if I find the x, it's gonna be the full length of the bigger one. So multiply the reciprocal of the one third, and it turns out the full length of the median of a bigger triangle is in fact nine. So look what we have. The full distance of the median, the segment of a smaller triangle is 4.5. And the median of a bigger triangle is nine. So it shows you once again that it is a half of the bigger one and it is the similarity ratio of 1 to 2. It's a factor of 2 determined by the medians, the median of a smaller triangle compared to the bigger one, and also the sides of the small one to the bigger one, 1 to 2. I hope that helps.